Okay, uh, we're here for the post-conference with Mr. Malone. Um, got to come in and do an observation on the videos, uh, making the flip grid on the Paris Peace Conference, World War I in his ninth grade to U.S. history. World history. Wait, world, ninth grade world history. Um, so just by seeing some things in there, um, evident that you planned out the lesson, put a lot of thought into it, like we had talked yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell, you know, if you like doing things like this as far as incorporating technology, um, using the, the computers and the flip grid, and you utilized Nearpod and talked about the Google Classroom. Um, the way you had your students grouped, I think that was good. One of my special education students is in this period, and she was grouped with a, a, a group of students that was willing to help her, mm -hmm. and kind of just makes her a little more comfortable, you know, where she's able to be successful. Um, I mean, you had the group spread out, like use my room across the hall there, and had a few in here, had a couple out in the hallway, just to kind of give them space. Right. Um, so I think that kind of helped the way your classroom management was there. Um, so overall, how do you think, how do you feel that it went? I think it went really well. Uh, you know, I told you, I told you the first time we talked that, and I, I hesitate to say it because my, my kids did good the first time I used Flipgrid. It's not that, but it was so difficult to get them to do it, and they were so miserable. And I don't ever want my kids to be miserable in my class, and they were. I mean, they just dreaded it, didn't want to do it. And so um, I'm always concerned about content, but that was what I was scared of was, is it going to be pulling teeth again and, you know, them going to be upset about having to do it. But I think they had a lot of fun, too. And so, um, you know, that's not what, what it's all about. I felt good about the content with that, too, but that was kind of my nervous spot was I felt that they would hit the assessments, but I was worried that they would, Again, just have such an awful time with it, but they did. We had a lot of, you know, laughing and 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 and, and working and hard at it, and not not that resistance that I felt last time. So I thought it went really good. So you did think that that it did go better than last time you did. Yes. I mean, I, last time I was in to come a couple of times when they were doing it, and some of them came over to my room. So you think it went yeah. smoother? And you saw last time too, because I had one in, in your room especially, that you know, they just had so many that just were fighting the process, not wanting to be on camera, not wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I think this time the way it was set up with kind of the opportunity for some humor with it and that opportunity for some group interaction and them making it together, um, just so much better. Yeah, I think I think they I think they enjoyed it and the reason I keep saying enjoyment and laughter and all that is because like, you know, this time when they did the work I could help them with the content versus having to talk them into doing the assignment. That's yeah. kind of what that's kind of what was the difference for me. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. It did seem like that it was more enjoyable for them. Um, they they were having a good time as far as doing it this time. I mean, had a little bit of silliness, but still, we're getting what you want them to be done. Right. So that's, yeah. That's um, what you want them. You know, you want them to be engaged, and I think they were yeah. um, in this. As far as like um, assessing of of how well they did, um, how do you think they performed? Like if if on like if you were saying like if they mastered what you wanted them to do or not, like right? How do you think that went? So like I um so it's Parents Peace Conference, and I'm not trying to make this a history video. I'm a history teacher. We like to lecture, but like you know, you're, there's high points in that you have to hit, and those were in my rubrics um, or in my rubric, and the high points were understanding. They had four characters they had. So you had to know what those characters would say. So you had to understand the character. Like what, what would be their opinion about this part of the war based on they're from France or Britain. So that was part of it. But then they had to hit high points. They had to talk about the 14 points from Woodrow Wilson. Um, you know, they had to mention Germany's war guilt and they had to talk about the League of Nations. And so those being my three that were in my head, and that's what I was listening for. And now I've watched their videos that I'm on Fifth Grid too. They, they did great. And, you know, as we were preparing... I had one group in particular, and they were the ones in your class uh, across the hall. And I kept hearing them laugh, which there's nobody in there. It was fine. It worked really well. And that's part of Flipgrid. I mean, you're making a video, you're editing it, so there's going to be that. But, you know, I heard them, and I knew they'd been working on their script, and um, there's four girls, and they're really good friends, and I thought, man, it's just silliness. And I, just to be honest, I just thought, man, you know. So I went over there, and um, they were coming up with some pun that one of them was going to say. One of them was the Italian Orlando from, uh, from the Paris Pizza Conference. And she's coming up with some joke she's going to make, and I thought, man, I'll just let this get, you know, silly with them. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, I said, uh, well, what are, you know, what are y'all talking about right now? And she said, we're talking about the 14 points. So she could tell me the 14 points. I asked another kid who who, who brought that up. She said, Woodrow Wilson. 
And I said, well, what's France and Britain doing? And they said, you know, we're, they're trying to, we're trying to blame Germany for the war. Um, like, and, and that was my experience everywhere I went. It was kind of in the middle of that. They were able to tell me the whole story. And I think it was because, you know, they weren't just reading a lecture and reading a note on a board or something that said France wanted to blame Germany for the war. They were actively, whether it was making a joke or just writing a script, they were actively trying to incorporate that. And they all had their characters, you know, and they... So they, I think they got a really good feel for it. And when I went back and watched the videos as a whole, you know, sometimes when you just watch a video or you just see a presentation, a group member can hide in the group and maybe they didn't get it as well. Yeah. But the videos as a whole were great. And just kind of my formative assessment is I was going around like that with all the groups and asking them if they understood what they were doing. Um, I felt like they really did. I was super <clears> pleased <throat> with it. I'll definitely do it again. Um, yeah, I, I think it was good. You walking around kind of engaging formative assessment going on, just kind of checking this, listening, you know, yeah. seeing if they're engaged and what they're saying, asking them different stuff, you know. Yeah. And I remember you talking at, um, yesterday in lunch about the one who, uh, um, so I can't remember who it was, talking about the Hitler, that they were, yeah, they, they would never guess that. Yeah, they made a joke at the end, they, you know, the League of Nations and uh, was going to come out of this and but France and Britain wanted to put all the blame on, on Germany for it. And Germany wasn't in, invited to the Paris Food Conference. They're not there. And at the end, I saw some, and they needed like 30 more seconds for their video. And so um, I said, just come up with something at the end. Like, just come up with, after the conference was over, if two people there were talking. And so they had France and Britain. And one of them said, you know, do you think leaving Germany out of all this is going to make them mad? And he's like, yeah, it might. And like, you know, what if some just megalomaniac comes out uh, of Germany and blames us for all this and tries to take over the world and has a holocaust and all this and they're like, ah, that, that never happened. You know, they, this little cute joke but a knife grader's making this little joke and it's great but you think about it and you think, wow, they're, you know, they're building their own segues into what's coming next in my class which is World War II. So, I mean, yeah, I think, I think that, that drive they had to kind of make somebody laugh and, and connect yeah. the dots, you know, I think, I think the assessment wise as far as what they mastered from it, mm -hmm. I think it took it up a level from if we had just lecturing on it or yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, overall, I feel like that it was an improvement from last time that you did the flip grid videos. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think it was, I think it went well, you know, and I think you can utilize this further on in your class uh, for other lessons as, as you go into the year. I think so. I think the one thing I might have changed is I might have had more individual responsibility in the videos, because what I had happen was I had some people absent from groups, and I wasn't really prepared for that, which sounds silly. I mean, you know that's going to happen, but not on the skill I had. Like, I had one group where everybody was out, yeah. and so I had to go back and figure that out. You know, so, you know, there, there's things that, and we talk, you know, we've talked about things like that with um, um, just kind of how am I, I going to go back and how am I going to assess those um, and so, you know, I think if I'd have put some roles in to begin with for the individuals in the group, maybe it would have been easier to adapt to those absences or things like that. Because yeah. that's the thing about a flip grid. you got to be here with your group to make it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, I, th I, I think so, too. I think it was a lot better. I think yeah, maybe, last time. maybe like a, a few assigned roles to each student, what they have to do, you know, parts of it, maybe that would be. Yeah, they had characters, but, yeah, I think so. I think maybe. Even if it was a small written part or something, just something I could adapt and say, okay, here's a, here's something for you to do since you weren't here for a week and couldn't get involved. And you know, I just I need I need something to to kind of bring that home to them. But yeah, I think I think overall, like the class experience and what you were in here for, I think it went really well. Well, that's all I got, man. I appreciate you um, taking the time to do this out of your planning period. And yeah. I know it's hard to get together and all that, but no, it's fine. Um, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, sir.